Dallas, Texas, at the magnificent H-E-L-N-L Stadium. Built by zillionaire owner, GM, and coach, Scary Clones. He describes it as a Roman Coliseum, theme park, slaughterhouse, art museum, and secret bordello all in one. We've got a great matchup for this final weekend of the regular season. The teams are taking the field right now. The Philadelphia Evils go up against the Malice Hellboys. This is Grim Blitzrow, and this is the final game of a grueling season. Now let's go to the sidelines for the pregame speech. <laughs> This is Grim Blitzer along with Bricks Mulligan and Bricks Jr. on NFL Game Day. It's the season's last game, and history is about to be made. The impossible just might be possible. A rookie team with a first-year coach in their first season together. And with a win today, they become the first team in NFL history to go undefeated. The question for today's game is, can they do it? Yes, Grim. I believe. Uh, what was the question? You moron. V! I'll get best for the toenail clippers. This is killing me. He picks up a two. And that'll be second and eight to go. like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. It sounds like my offseason. And that'll bring up third down and seven. <laughs> no, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. Let's see if they can get a return. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. And he scores! That's six points for a special teams unit on a fantastic punt return. And for those of you that had him on your fantasy team, congratulations! <laughs> well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. Well, good luck. And he picks up two yards on the catch. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a dog named Snags. He got hit by a car. And Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret and our ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. 
season. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. Perfect pass and the score! And they line up for the extra point. The kick is good. And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. They're going to be able to return this one. First and ten. Oh, oh. oh, and he intercepts the ball. Thank you very much. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. And it's first and ten. for a first down to keep the drive alive. First down and nine. And the crowd goes wild. Touchdown! Touchdown! Some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. That, my friends, was an all-pro MFL hit. It's the end of the first quarter, and I just want to say that this is the ugliest thing I've ever seen. Other than my mother-in-law, of course. here just kick the ball through the upright for God's sake it's good here 
Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Oh, the worm swallows him whole and goes down like the last shot of whiskey at an Irish wake. You know, my wife went to Scotland. She came home with a Scottish tapeworm. Not a big eater, though, so that's good. More of a drinker, really. Passed off by 18-year-old McCallum the other morning at the breakfast table. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. Fumble! You've got to protect the ball better than that. Third down and six. somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. And he laterals the ball. Man, these guys like playing high risk. Nice pick up for six yards. And that'll be second down and four. Threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. Defense was there, but he still picked up a yard somehow. Two minutes remain in the half. Great! I gotta take a dump! Again? You just went. How was that even possible? Ah, it's the nachos, man! Want some? And with another pick, the QB says, I don't know. Oh, with a brutal hit. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> First and ten. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. And it's first and ten. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the 10. Oh, and they got him. That's a touchdown saving tackle. First down to five. Oh, great catch. And that's a touchdown. Touchdown. This should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. Quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. That ball was almost intercepted.
The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Uh, same as Brits' ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rabbit sense. I took it as a compliment. At the end of quarter two, it's a blowout. We now go to our halftime show, sponsored by Monsanto Industries. Maker that great killer products like Roundup. Dirty trick. They can use that on an all star or a punter. Boy, these guys are going to need to pull off a huge comeback in the second half to win this game. Here comes the kickoff. Grab the coast. Why do we even come back or bother? This is a waste of our time. Yeah, if only one team is going to show up, why should we have to? Not a bad kick. Oh, he just got eaten. It reminds me of that, that song by the Mutant Men at Work. Uh, pretty sure those weren't the lyrics there, uh, Bricks. Pretty sure they weren't, Graham. And that's a touchdown! Man, once he saw daylight, he was gone. The kickoff team didn't even know what hit him. <laughs> With kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. Oh, that worm grabbed him by the head and didn't let go. Did the worms go to the bathroom, Grim? Or did they just crap dirt, you think? Hey, you're just talking a lot of crap right now. And it's first and ten. Second down in a lot. And he picks up four on that passing catch. And they'll bring up third down and seven. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, that well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on the air. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. <laughs> oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. It sounds like my offseason. And it's first and ten. Nicely done for a first down. And it's first and ten. And the 
ball hits the field, incomplete. He threw it when no one could catch it. Some things like that in quarterback. Second down and ten. Caught for the first down. And it's first and ten. game when it comes down to it first and four oh he fumbled that one everyone loves being on the highlight reel leaping over defender but sometimes you get hit hard and have the ball knocked loose hey man you see that that's right you can't handle this you can't handle what i got yeah get the hell out of here man Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. Man, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The teams are lined up for the kickoffs. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim. But my watch is a bit slow. And it's first and ten. Of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown to change the entire game, but I don't know what a nitpick. Second down and ten. He is fighting for every yard. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Man, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. Love the sound of bones snapping and cracking. I mean, when they're not yawn. And it's first and ten. He might have managed to dig out a yard on that one. Not my yard. Got too much buried in, you know, the usual money, bodies, coffee cans filled with, well, uh, you know, mostly coffee. Tastes better, like Eskimos burying salmon heads, kimchi. I mean, it anything really tastes good. Oh, great play! He is on that receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. Your father was a very smart man, Bricks. Very smart. And he's off to the races. First down and one. They just called an audible on defense. Offense hopes it's not a dirty trick. The third quarter mercifully ends. If this game is as painful to watch as we are to listen to, then please accept our apologies. This one is just about over. I got the thing stuck in my ear again. The defense just called an audible, and the QB is praying it's not a dirty quarterback passes for a touchdown. They ought to activate landmines in the end zone during the dance celebrations. <laughs> Be a lot more entertaining, that's for sure. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It's good. <laughs> Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. And he scores! Okay, nice and easy like a 
right two foot putt. You miss two foot putts all the time, Ren. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring. Oh, he probably thought it was an earthquake. I bet he wishes he was right. In between being digested, that is. Drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry up offense, you moron. I am so confused. Second down and long. <laughs> Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. You gotta love a player who goes down fighting. Touchdown! <laughs> the offense is running low on running backs. They have only two left. They need to conserve those runners now and consider passing more. Well, they say humans are the best dancers. Well, we invented dancing. Oh, uh, really? I thought it was demons. No, it was a human possessed by a demon. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually... Oh, oh, man, that worm just ate the player alive. You gotta steer clear of the pits. You know, my sister had a tape worm almost that big. Name was Frederick. I didn't know that they make great house pets. You just gotta sleep in leather underpants. The little bug is like the bird. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no he was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Second down and ten. They just called an audible on defense. Offense hooks it's not a... Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe set. They just called an audible on defense. Offense hopes it's not a dirty... He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. He's at the 10. Oh, what a run there. Touchdown. No one was going to stop him. <laughs> the offense is down to their last running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. Yeah, well, at least they don't have to forfeit, man. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He's going to be able to run this. Oh, that's got to hurt. Snatched in midair by the worm. They say that the early one gets the mutant, and he got all of him. Oh, look, he's spitting the plates out. Oh, with the brain scrambler. The offense is down to their final lineman, so he'll be playing center for the rest of the game. How is he going to be able to block all those defenders by himself, Grim? Well, he can't, which is why the QB is going to have to get rid of the ball very, very fast if he wants to stay alive. Pick up three on a short pass. Second down and seven. When the defense calls an audible, you know the gun for Sunrun. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? Now, yeah, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. Whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new? Pow! With the brain scrambler! <laughs> and it's 
First and ten. Shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. To speed things up, the offense goes into a two-minute drill. Hey, man, I was hanging on the pedal now. They all have... Second down. They stop the clock with their first time out, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. It's another pick. Man, oh man, the defense. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Your sister, Mary Margaret, of our ladies of holy hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. And it's first and ten. point attempt. It's good. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Quinn? Aren't we all? No game, no game. Second down and eight. The quarterback is controlling the clock like the clock is into it. I know I am. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. Does the QB know which team he's on? I mean, oh, look at this guy break tackles. He takes a lick and it keeps on ticking. He scores! He earned those points on the heels of an epic run. Uh, don't call things epic, Grim. Kids aren't going to think you're cool no matter what you do. Yeah, Junior, great I don't want kids to think I'm cool. <laughs> now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double step from Taco Hell. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jet, you shut of a bitch. The Hellboys come away with a big... Folks, this wasn't even close. It was a total shellacking, like watching a knife cut through butter. More like an axe through butter, Grim. More like a cheese. What a win! In their first season together, and this young team is going straight to the playoffs. That fast, Grim? They should at least run to the men's room and take a pee. You're a moron. Thank you, humble viewers, for being sick enough to enjoy this. I'm Grim Woodrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr., and we're just as twisted as you.
Evil Ascent will be back next week to broadcast the playoff race as we begin our deadly march to the Mayhem Bowl. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Micro Hard Corporation. They get it right every other time.